Hello, welcome. I am Iron Raiden. This is my channel, and uh, yeah, all opinions are my own. Um, I don't give a shit. Um, as I would take that as true advice right there. Like no one should give a shit anymore. I mean, if you consider just what we've been dealing with, especially now. Actors suing Disney left and right, apparently, and it's just like when's enough enough for anyone? I mean, the world would be a hell of a. Lot. I mean, if you really break it down, we can do better by simply not giving a shit. Cause this is the this is the main issue, is that we have been trying too hard. To give a shit about something. I mean, that's, that's 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 basically what it comes down to. All this shit that we've been dealing with through entertainment, through politics, all of it. Has all stemmed from people trying to give a shit about something. That for the most part, they don't give a shit about. And that's the main problem. The world would be a lot better if we didn't give a shit. And I don't mean that. It, obviously, you know... you. You break down what I'm trying to say here. It's just like, obviously, yeah, give a shit. Like, do good things for people. You know, care about your family. Take care of yourself. All this and that. But generally speaking, obviously, these these manufactured problems that we've been dealing with. Or problems that, yeah, of course, have existed throughout the years. But not to the extent, especially now, to what people try to make it out to be. And that's always been, that's been the main thing right there. Is that if we just stop caring, the world would be a hell of a lot better. This is exhausting. All this shit is just simply exhausting. At now, at this point, it's just like we still got a long ways to go deal with dealing with shit. And some people are on, you know, a, a, a harsher side of it all, you know. But when you're looking at people like, like where we're at now, where, oh, you know, we gotta, we gotta. You know, put up on a pedestal the black man and the woman, and yet two movies released at once, as I said previously, and what everyone's been talking about. You know, Space Jam, Black Widow. You know, we put those out there acting like we care, and then guess what? They're flops, and yet we want to sit there and act like that's due to some sort of sexism and/or racism, or just simply put the movies suck. All right, and I mean, wow, just wow to where. People like a Scarlett Johansson has to sue Disney because she didn't get what she was promised in a contract or whatever. And it's just, when's enough enough for anybody? Whether she's in the right or not. I understand, like, obviously these people get paid absurd amounts of money for anything. Like, so you pay me $20 million one time, I could use that for the rest of my life. All right, I could retire off of that shit. I won't have to worry about a damn thing. All right, I don't need 20 houses. I don't need a dozen yachts. I don't need that shit. Okay, I could. <laughs> I don't need it. Like I could live just like oh, I need to feed my family. Feed your family. Get out of here with that. I mean, but like I said, I know this. There's a standard. I mean, if those are the rules set, like if you know your worth, as far as like being a box office star, you know what you owe. It's like okay, I get that. But at the same time, it's just. I mean, and Disney sitting there acting like they can't pay her or anything, as if they don't have every fucking dime that's in the world right now. <laughs> and trying to and trying to blame the 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 uh the pandemic situation be like oh how dare she consider what we've been doing get the fuck out of here you don't care about any of that get out of here with that but it's just so pathetic seeing this be the case obviously because they've done it to themselves and you just gotta sit back and just laugh at all of it right now it truly is hilarious to see but as i was trying to say it's exhausting I, just being on the side of this just watching it all play out like i know again some people have dealt with harsher side of the situation because some people are just sick in the head more than others but situations like this you just sit back and just laugh at and it's and you just gotta wonder like how is this not exhausting for these people yeah, you have all, all this money. You can do whatever the hell you want. And yet they choose to bother themselves with all of this. 
I mean, to the point, well, like, we can definitely tell that they're, they're starting to lose their own minds by doing stuff like this. They just, they're, they're, they're losing it. Kevin Smith, he's fucking losing his mind out there. I'm like, you have all this money, you have all this, you can do whatever you want, and yet you choose to sit there and exhaust yourself to the ground with this type of crap. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I mean, that is the main question. I mean, we can never truly answer. I mean, we know clearly they're fucked up, but I mean, we can never truly answer. It's like, what's in your heads as to what's making them do this type of thing? There's no rhyme or reason. I mean, it's like Dr. Loomis in Halloween. There's no rhyme or reason, you know, just to what they're doing. There's just, it just doesn't make any fucking sense. All the push and agenda. I'm like, why? Why bother anymore? The world would be a better place if we stopped giving a shit. It's like, just don't, just don't care. If you don't care, the world is the better place. And yeah, obviously, like, just, you know, care for yourself, care for your family, you know, care for others, you know, charity, this and that. That's all well and good. But you, you get what I'm saying again. Just, just stop caring. If you just stop caring, we wouldn't have to be doing any of this shit. And it's really, I mean, you break it all down. If you look at ourselves, you know, this community of people, people like us who do these types of videos, we discuss all this stuff. You know, just just taking a step back, looking at all of it, it's really quite fascinating because none of us, none of us would be here today doing what we're doing now. None of us would even know half of each other, none of this. This wouldn't even be. This fandom, this collective, whatever you want to call it, whatever you own or disown, titles, whatever, blah, 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 who gives a crap. None of us would actually be here together doing this. All because of one particularly bad flick that came out a few years ago that really just sparked something that just practically sparked a universe of people come together and we are where we are now and so it's very much a double-edged sort of life it's like it's all dealing with nonsense a lot of it pretty bad because people have done some pretty twisted things just to push you know this ideology and all but on the flip side of that something something you could consider good came out of it people coming together People becoming friends, forming relationships. Hell, literally because of this, all of this, this community, I formed my relationship because of that. My girlfriend, she lives here with me. You know, we're together because of that. And that's a whole other way of breaking it down. Now, this is getting some deep shit. I'm getting deep with this. That's how I get. <laughs> I mean, this is just an off-the-cuff video, just kind of just taking in what's happening now and just looking at it and just breaking it all down. And it's like there could be more stuff like this to come from me. But again, it's just looking at it, just how fascinating, just taking a break and just looking at it, how fascinating all of it is, is to how fucked up and yet somehow as beautiful of a situation as it is because... Of what's come out of it you know and you just gotta wonder it's like that what makes life so funny you know you take the good with the bad you know there's something you see that's happening that's that you would consider you know a disease a cancer or just some evil so to speak in a certain way and yeah on the flip side of that something else is growing to help eradicate that you know and that's just kind of like the cycle of life it's just these great ordeals can occur, but at the same time, greater things can grow from within and break that. And then eventually, sometimes you just got to start that cycle again. And you just got to deal with, again, the good, the bad, all of it. I guess that's just, you know, what it comes down to. And that's just how it is. I mean, there's a long ways to go. We're all sick and tired of this. I mean, I'm I mean, at this point, it's just like, I mean, that's why I haven't been so active on, like, social media and all this stuff like that. I want to be on everyone's streams. I want to be doing this and that and stuff. But like I said, I started a new job. I'm focusing on my life, you know, just earning this money. But at the same time, I'm trying to start this and grow my own thing. So it's just a ver variety of a roller coaster and all just whatever terms you want to throw out there. But, yeah, this is just kind of a video off the cuff, just looking at it, breaking it down. 
and then just understanding where we started, where we are now, are things getting better, are things getting worse, that's basically what it is. And right now I'm like just doing my thing, just kind of, you know, riding the wave, trying to grow, trying to build, trying to become more with you guys, all of that. So I guess that's just the message for the day. Just off the cuff, shooting the shit, and we'll just see what else there is to come. Like, comment, subscribe, it would be appreciated. But like I always say, you have the free will to do whatever it is that you please. Like I have the free will to close out this video and tell you all to have a blessed and great weekend. Love each other. Don't be dicks. Uh, and YouTube, stop demonetizing our people. They did nothing wrong. They deserve better. So please, just, just be better yourselves. You know, I'm not trying to knock you. I'm not trying to knock you. So please, don't fuck with my shit. <laughs> but seriously, yeah, just we can do better always. And let's just have fun with this shit. I am Iron Raven, and I am out.